hit it low. You may be wondering, why am I wearing a towel on my head? And the answer is, I have dye in my hair. What is the time actually? I need to take it out at, mm, how do I math? Half past three. But today we're going to be making pancakes. This is my giant bowl and you can't even really see anything from here. So I guess I should adjust things. Um, we're not even... We're not even just going to be making normal pancakes, we're going to be making the bulletproofiest pancakes in the world, possibly. No, fine, please. I should have organised this before I started recording. I guess we could put it here, just tilt to show. Okay, I should have gotten the ingredients out first. The first step is to sift the dry ingredients into a medium-sized bowl and stir to combine thoroughly. So I need rice flour and tapioca flour. Seem to be running out of rice flour, but that's fine because I don't need much for this. And I also need baking powder, that's not the right colour. I'm gonna need guar gum too. When you get to the milk stage of it, you'll understand why this method I'm going with is a little bit not great. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the rice flour in first. We need half a cup of rice flour. Um, if you're wanting to make pancakes, I don't recommend going with this method. It's supposed to be the gluten-free method, but I'm making a few additions that are possibly not gluten-free. I didn't read the ingredients on them, but I'm making them for myself so they don't need to be gluten-free. Um, because the person who lives here and is gluten-free is not home. Usually I would double the recipe because I'm making pancakes for more people, but I'm only making pancakes for myself, so I'm making just the recipe and then I'm probably going to eat a massive amount of pancakes because even just one of the recipe is probably more pancakes than I reasonably need alone. Okay so let's brush the flour types in, put the cup in the sink, put water in it because I'm going to need that cup again later, put the, rough, put the tapioca flour away. So so far to recap we'll put half a flour of rice flour, I mean half a cup of rice flour We've put half a cup of tapioca flour and now we need to put two, ta two teaspoons of um, baking powder. I'm trying to make this a video in which you could feasibly follow along if you wanted to make pancakes but it's probably not really your best bet still. One, two. Okay. I think that means we need half a teaspoon of guar gum. Go back in the bowl. No, that's so bad, so bad. I put it in the wrong spot in the drawer. Um, guar gum. I'm putting this much guar gum. It's probably too much, but it's whatever. Now we need something to mix it all together with. This is where it starts getting spooky. I don't know why it's spooky. <laughs> I guess we'll use this spoon. <laughs> Mix it all together. So these are going to be kind of lumpy pancakes. They're not going to be the most together pancakes because because I did not use a sift. They will, you know, you get unsifted flour and that's what happens. You get little bursts of flour sometimes when you're eating the pancakes. Unless you somehow magically do this step really well, I guess. Um, since I find that step boring, I'm going to put it to the side now. And we're going to need to grab another bowl. The next step is to do the, do the, the wet ingredients, which involves 25 grams of butter melted, one large egg. This is the butter. This is a kind of small egg, so I think we might need to put two eggs in. Sorry, I just shut the door to outside. 
And now I'm going to pause recording for a moment so I can melt the butter because the phone is in front of the microwave. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back with melted butter. Now the next ingredient thing we need to do is put the melted butter in into the bowl. Put the butter the cup in the sink so we can have an easier time washing the butter out later. Um, right. Put the egg in. We're putting two eggs in but you need one and remember it's 25 grams of melted butter. Uh, it's supposed to be one large egg but I do not have one large egg. There we go. Let's put these in the bin. towel is getting in the way. Uh, why is my brain turning off right now? One tablespoon of golden syrup. I do not have golden syrup so we're putting maple flavoured syrup. It's supposed to be one tablespoon but I don't know how much we've just put in here. I guess I'll be very mapley pancakes. And then one cup, half cup of milk. And this is where we're getting weird. This is our half cup. Instead of regular milk, I'm putting protein plus flavoured milk. Does this have wheat? Um, ingredients. Contains milk? I had no idea. Um, no, it doesn't have, have, um, what's the word? Gluten. But this is going in our pancakes. So I guess we'll have a very protein -y taste to our pancakes. Maybe one day I will be like Rosanna Pancino and I will have a fancy set up in this kitchen. <laughs> it's unlikely. I think I'll have to wait until I move into my own place and have my own kitchen. <laughs> Plus uh, baking isn't the focus of this channel, neither is cooking. I just sometimes like recording cooking. Why not? It's something I can do. Okay. That's all the ingredients mushed in together. We need a whisk now. There we go. We whisk all the ingredients together. So to recap, the liquid ingredients, 25 grams of melted butter. I always do that in the microwave. It's not the best way to do it, but it does it. Try not to whisk it out of the bowl. Um, so 25 grams of melted butter, one large egg, size 7 apparently. I don't know what size these were. Um, one rounded whole tablespoon of golden syrup and half a cup of milk. They don't, probably don't recommend you use protein milk, but I am a protein gremlin and that is what I will do. And now, oh crap, and you need to whisk them together in a small bowl and then pour the wheat mixture into the dry ingredients, then stir it into, well until smooth. The mixture will be runny at first, but should thicken if left to stand for a few minutes. If the mixture is too flip thick to flow when dropped off a spoon, thin with a little extra milk. And we definitely have some extra milk because apparently this contains more than half a cup. <laughs> of course it does. Why would why would it contain only half a cup? That'd be useless. <laughs> but these pancakes will be perfect for my protein gremlin ways. I'm going to remove that wooden spoon because I don't want to have to wash stickiness off it. I don't know why. I, just, I hate washing wooden spoons. They're one of my least favourite things to wash. Um, I don't have a ranking of my favourite to least favourite things to wash, by the way. That's, that's not a thing people do. Okay, let's put them together. One more. I'm going to fill this bowl up and with water and put it in the sink. I'm very, when it comes to, to cooking and baking, I prefer it to be very half, half effort cooking, cleaning as I go. Um, the butter in this is so lumpy. <laughs> so lumpy. I wonder if I should blend this a little. Well, we could just keep mixing it with the whisk and hope for the best. The idea is, um, you heard me actually read it out loud, I, to, to um, mix until it is no longer lumpy. 
so I guess I'm going to keep mixing until it's no longer lumpy and then we will cut to me with the oven which is not an experience that is usually recommended because I'm, 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 I know I use the inside of the oven for baking a lot but I don't really use the stove top for cooking barely either so it's going to be an endeavour and a half I don't know if it will be a good one but I will see you when I'm over there Ciao! Sorry, I actually forgot something. Um, another secret ingredient that I planned on adding. It's deluxe protein. It's a delicious caramel layer protein bar. Caramel cookie crunch flavour. Because I just thought it would be amusing. And this definitely has... This is little bits of the protein bar, by the way. This definitely has gluten in it. Sorry to people who are... To, who do not like gluten or cannot do gluten, gluten intolerant people. This is not a pancake you are now able to eat, but it's not as if you have to include everything I include. So you could just make the pancakes and not include these. Wah. Is there a reason why I'm why I'm adding protein bar to this to this thing? Not really. I just thought it'd be interesting. This is probably isn't even the best way to do it, like there are better ways to put a bar into it, into something rather than awkwardly chopping bits off the bar and ripping them up. And the bar is kind of melting in my hand a little. It's kind of gross. I'm going to need to wash my hands. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things to need to wash one's hands from, I guess. I don't know how much bar I should put in. I mean, I guess with this, I'm, the only taste buds I'm potentially ruining are my own. Why is there a pizza here? Um, yeah, the only taste buds I'm potentially ruining are my own. And I will eat all these pancakes regardless of how bad they taste because they, I do not waste food this, in this household. I eat the food I cook. I kind of want to cook some bacon too, to go with this. <laughs> That's probably really lame. Like, yes, let's have some pancakes, some extreme protein pancakes, and cook some bacon to go with it. Like, why not? Pucky. <laughs> Sorry, my nose for some reason is kind of getting sniffly and I don't know why it's doing that, but it's it's doing its best. Oh, I forgot the microwave had the time on it. I think this is enough protein bar for the mix, potentially. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to need to clean that knife and wash my hands because yucky. Yeah, it's kind of easier if I just don't use the knife. This is probably enough protein bar in the mix. I should stop now and just eat the rest of the protein bar. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I don't think I've actually had this type of protein bar before. I'm kind of, um, I'm not picky when it comes to protein bars. I tend to, whenever I do buy them, which is not very often, because um, who wants to pay $5 for a bar? Um, when I do get them, I, do, I tend to get a different type each time. Like, maybe I'll do the same brand, but I'll do a different flavour. I have three other protein bars at home. Two of them are more chocolatey, so I didn't think I wanted to put them in here, because I thought it'd be more effort to put get into pieces. And one of them's peanut butter, and I don't know why I got it, because I, I can't stand peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you momentarily. I'm going to whisk this in and eat the spa. Hello. So I figured I should get my reaction to these pancakes since I made them with protein stuff. So they're the ultimate protein pancakes. This pancake is kind of ugly. This pancake is not the ugliest. But they're an interesting colour, that's for sure. I'm not great at flipping pancakes over, as proven by this one that fell in half as I was trying to flip. They're still hot and I have more on the on the thing and this is in the way, isn't it? Um, let's eat a pancake. You can kind of see the little chunks of protein bar. Tastes like a regular pancake. <laughs> yeah, kind of just tastes like a regular pancake. I guess that was a very boring experiment because it just turned out like a regular pancake. So, to, crap, I need to hold the phone properly. To 
After the, them on the oven, you clearly need a pan. You need to spray the pan first and you need to do it on a low to medium heat. That has been the video. I will see you in whenever the next one is because I think it's actually been a while since my last video and I've been kind of... I haven't been recording at all. I should do a bunch of videos and, you know, set them up to post. I'll see you in the next one though, where I won't be wearing a towel on my head.